my God, there's a microphone in my hand. Let's walk around. Rob and Sydney, how's it going? Oh, it's such a blast. Um, we just ran into this girl who was telling us <laughs> that her friends <laughs> watch the Ginger Dead Man and she can't eat another cookie again. So I, I, uh, I'm sending her some good vibes out there that if she eats a cookie and it's not sweet, that I'm going to come protect her from the evil Ginger Dead Man. Now something else will create a better vibe. Are you ready for this? You get a wider shot. Okay, and here we go. This is the magical full moon shirt you only get on the road show when I go around the country. We're not selling them. You got to be part of the experience. And action. <laughs> it, it does not get better than that. Let's move around over here. Oh my God, look, it's it's Trent. Hi. How's it going, dude? Better, better known as Killjoy. Yes, I see things you sign and he signs his name and he writes, I'm Killjoy. And look, it's John Lechago, producer, director of uh, Killjoy, writer, uh, uh, co-creator uh, of sorts. And a pixel pusher, basically, though. So if you want your pixels pushed, which I do for a lot of our shows. And what are we making coming up like in a heartbeat? Uh, we are doing uh, Killjoy's Psycho Circus. Yeah, We're gonna, down. Are you serious? Yeah. I can't wait to see that. Now, you know, you, you have such a simpatico. Just don't look at me. Look at him. You have such a simpatico look. My question is, how does this come from that? It's acting. That's it. Just call it we acting. call it in our family, schmack thing. Schmack. You're a schmackter. You hire a professional. Okay, so so g give us a quick Killjoy line. Here comes a Killjoy line. I'm motherfucking Killjoy. It's not the same without the face. No, it's very much the same. So, hey, how are you, cutie? I'm moving down here. Can I come over here and talk to these super hot, beautiful ladies? Wow. Look at, I mean, look at how beautiful and awesome and bodacious and sexy. This is Siri. How you doing? I'm wonderful. Now, you would never believe that this pretty girl was in Ooga Booga. Hey, what character did you play? The skank. <laughs> An honest pretty girl, the skank. So what do you guys like? What's the main gig here other than these awesome magazines? Tell us about this. Movie House. Erotic Movie House, which is like kind of soft for erotic films. And it's, you know, mine is mine is like secrets. And it's me just being alone in my bedroom and what I do when no one's looking. And, and this incredible 12 DVD collection called aptly called the pleasure box what what is it's an awesome box and it gives pleasure so how, people get it what's the deal when you sign up for six months of erotic movie house for it's it's fifty dollars fifteen forty odd bucks yeah I thought it was fifty okay so fifty dollars sign up for six months of erotic movie house and you get this for free yes it's it's an awesome incredible and and thank you Siri I'm gonna move down Okay, this is the amazing and the very. Be don't look at me. Look at her. I don't. I'm just the guy, dude. Look, this is Tanya Tate. How's it going? I'm good. <laughs> well, thanks for helping us give birth to the erotic movie house, which is a un is unique in that it's sexy, feature length uh, for couples. You know, it's a little softer than what you would expect. And what's the deal again? Um, it's an amazing deal. You sign up um, for six months, and you get this. 12 DVD box set which is like really amazing loads of hot stuff but not only that you get me and Siri on the website saying our very naughty little erotic secret and if you want to know what our erotic secret is you need to go to eroticmoviehouse.com it's the Gordons it's inc the incredible Carolyn Gordon who's so sweet in real life and so nasty in all these movies. What's going on, Carolyn? I don't have a whole lot going on. That's what you should say. <laughs> really? Um, I'm here at the, uh, at the um, celebration of Delirium magazine. There's an interview with, with me in it, which tickles me no end, by Chris Alexander. And I'm having a wonderful time. <laughs> it's, it's so good and in the magazine I don't know if I can flip to it quickly but there's a whole here it is look at that bride of the master look at Carolyn look 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 what they did to her such a sweet girl and we, we, we have yeah oops that's not you and um, I'm moving down here because this is the dude that she hangs with what uh, this is Stuart Gordon what's going on Stuart what's my name Stuart Gordon all right thank you and you and you are <laughs> and this is regarding yeah 
Okay. Now I gotta, I'm gonna scoot you around here because I gotta tell you guys one thing. We're delirious to be here. Yeah, so this is important for you guys to know. I'm gonna go right down here, so we're kind of the nice two shot, see? <laughs> and hopefully the light's good. So I'll tell you what's really cool is we shot a five part series called Trophy Heads, which premieres on our streaming site, which I'm super excited about. Your like, pan up here. Yeah, a little panty, but not too much panning. It's, it's a secret, kind of. But in the movie, there's a wonderful sequence or scenes where we needed this sort of, you know, kind an of asshole. A, well, I don't want to say an asshole, but sort of a difficult director of B movies. Yeah, and yeah. Stuart actually yeah. plays that part. And, who, who could, and he said, "Who can we find?" <laughs> and Stuart said, there's "Me." So many possibilities. And so Stuart is in Trophy Heads. It's one of the five episodes. I think episode three, and it's by far my favorite. So thanks for doing that, Stuart. It was my pleasure. Thank you, and thanks for being here and making all these awesome movies. And now I'm going to stand up, uh -oh. like I know what I'm doing, and I'm going to move over here. Look, it's, it's, it's Kenneth Hall, uh, involved with so many movies. Talk about how awesome you are. Oh, uh, well, I, 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 I don't want to embarrass you or myself, but uh, seriously, no, uh, uh, it's great to be here. We've got uh, Puppet Master, the original Puppet Master. Uh, we've got uh, Dr. Alien, another film I wrote. But uh, this film, this film, if you're a Full Moon fan, this is the film to see because this is, is uh, kind of a send-up of making these kinds of movies on these wacky schedules and budgets, and I, I get to have a little scene in it. And the important thing is we always try to stay very PC, and of course there's nothing non-PC about the cover of this show. Now we do offer it in an alternative version with the, uh, the, the nasty cookie popping out of a pie, or you can get this one. Thank you, Ken. Now we're going to move right over here. I don't even want to say new discovery, but this is the amazing Irina. Some of that name always trips me up, Irina Murphy. It says right here, Irina Murphy. And she is the young ingenue. I won't tell you much because I don't want to spoil it in uh, Trophy Heads. No, don't, don't show. That's kind of a ahead of its time right now. So, um, how you doing? It's a mystery. I'm good. I'm good, Charlie. How are you? I'm good. I'm touring the country, getting people to sign up for Full Moon Streaming, which is, by the way, the only place on the planet you'll be able to see the five episodes of Trophy Heads. They start June 4th. It's a half-hour series for five weeks in a row. She is so good in it, and I won't spoil anything, but she's so good in it. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. That means I have to sign up. I don't even. I don't think I've signed up before. Well, yet. yes, you do. I do. I How know. I feel, I feel bad because we don't have that little thing that can go boop, and then you're automatically signed up. You actually have to sign up. We'll figure something out. But she's beautiful in the movie and super talented, and um, they'll have to discover you when they. Uh, yeah. Somebody else discover me. Like well, and and a second. Where's? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. The other thing I want to say is in Delirium, which is what this event's all about, we have all sorts of crazy stuff. Let me see if I can get to it quick enough. But in here somewhere, not too far away from the cover, is a whole thing about, it's called Murphy's Law. And it's all about, there you go. Now look at that. No, we, we can't expose this because they're children. They're children. No, no, turn it around. We can't expose... We have to expose it. Oh. I'm just kidding. I'm just being silly. <laughs> I'm all need everyone to discover me, and then I'm like, they will. Me. They will. Thank you, Irene. I'm I'm moving along. Nice to see you, Christine DeBell, who's also in Trophy Heads. How's it going? It's going very well, thank you. She plays a great scene with uh, Linnea Quigley and Carl Stryken, who was here a few months ago. And look at all these pictures. Look, look, look at this. An endless amount of cute stuff. And oh, it's Lisa. How are you, Lisa? Hello. Lisa are we London. finally meeting in the flesh? Yes, in the flesh at an event. And look, the, the body of work is indescribable. I know, look. but I haven't made a movie with you yet. Well, we'll get there. Now with Dave Dakota as our uh, chaperone. Christine DeBell, age 12. Or 14. Or I'm not sure what. But anyway, so many fun movies. Nice seeing you. Thanks for being part of this. I'm, I'm going here. I'm supposed to keep this short. We love it here. I, I apologize for just nudging over here. I just want to say hi to Ted. How you going, Ted? I'm doing great, Charles. How are you? Good. Ted was um, instrumental, shall we say, in putting together Cinemaker, which is a uh, one, two, three, four, I forget, six-part series on the most efficient way to get your movie made. And this was actually made some years before things got even easier in terms of the technical side and cameras and 
this was sort of in that transition period, but it's a real great um, program that we put together. I don't know when. When was that? Well, uh, I, uh, I think we started in 1902. 1902. This is awesome. And, well, well we, we, we finished just as, as sound pictures were coming in, so we had to go back and, and do all this. Well, um, Ted is known, uh, amongst other things, as a film historian, and he knows for sure that date is accurate. Cinemaker. And, uh, may, I, may I say something to the camera? Uh, Charles Band here is the, is the on-screen host and narrator of this, and there's yeah. nobody in the world that knows more about doing doing films and making them for the bud for the money you have than this guy. Well, that's, uh, I'm I'm blushing, although you may not see it. Thank you, Ted. And I just got to scooch over because oh my God, it's Courtney Joyner. How's it going? Hi, Charlie. It's going great. Now, Delirium, the big success. Courtney's been involved in so many of our movies, writing the films. He directed Lurking Fear, one of those classic Full Moon movies. He's got the whole Western gig going here. Uh, Courtney was close to my dad when my dad was around. Um, Hell comes to Hollywood. What do you have to say? How do people find your stuff? Well, of course, uh, with the books, it's all, you know, Amazon and uh, Books a Million and uh, Barnes and Noble. And uh, Amazon, of course, also, where we find all of our great DVDs and our... Courtney and I go back a while. There's a script that... Um, I mean, there's several scripts that Courtney wrote, ideas we developed together that have not been made yet. And my favorite one, which I, I hope will be made soon, is called The Grim Rapper. Oh my gosh. It, it, it's a good one, I'm telling you. You know, it's, it's, it's a send up of the music world with a real monstrous rapper who comes back from the grave and, of course, kills his managers, his agents, everybody who fucked him over. So, to maybe next year, The Grim Rapper. Courtney, ciao. David Dakota, how's it going, Dave? I'm great, Charles. How are you? David is surrounded by his uh, oeuvre, uh, his, his, his incredible, uh, the incredible movies that he's made, made for me, made for himself. I don't even know where to start. I'll pull, I'll pull one out, and I'll pull it out because it's Sorority Babes and the Slime Ball Bowlerama, which is sort of part of the fabric of Trophy Heads, which you guys are all going to see soon uh, because some of the, uh, the Scream Queens that are in here are in Trophy Heads. So... Dave, anything else you want to talk about? I know you're very modest about pushing your stuff, but anything else you want to say? I just subscribe to fullmoonstreaming.com. And I tell you, seven bucks a month, essentially. And I tell you, there's a new movie every week, every day on fullmoonstreaming.com. Sign up for Full Moon Streaming. It's the best website in the business. And I can't wait to get home and watch more movies on fullmoonstreaming.com. <laughs> You know, I'm not even sure what to say, but what, oh my goodness, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here, we're going over here, we're going over here, sorry, I'm, I'm, i got to stand right here, because lo and behold, it's my daughter. This Hi. is Taryn, my sweet daughter who came from my loins. No. Is that wrong? <laughs> I, she is my daughter. That's right. And it's so nice to have her here, and that's how we're going to end this vidcast, and there's Robin Sidney again, and uh, Delirium. And uh, nice seeing you guys. Oh, and I'm, I got to end it the way I always end it. And ciao.